Welcome to the library's tutorial on how to add a resource to your list. Please feel free to pause and rewind at any time. Sometimes it's beneficial to watch the whole video through before you start to edit your list yourself. If you scroll to underneath this video in the description box, you should see a group of timestamps, so you can skip through the video if you want. Before you add a resource to your resource list, you'll want to make sure you have what we refer to as the bookmark button available in your bookmarks bar. The button will be called Add to My Bookmarks unless you renamed it when you installed it previously. This is the tool that will turn any resource on any website or library database into an entry in your resource list. Using it properly means your students will get instant access to any online resource, plus a full bibliographic reference to use in their work. If you already have this button in your bookmarks bar at the top of the browser, go to the description box underneath this video and you should find the contents. You'll be able to skip to any part of this video by clicking on the timestamps. If you don't currently have a bookmark button in your bookmarks toolbar, please continue watching. To install the bookmark button in your bookmark toolbar, first of all, log into resource list by clicking login in the menu at the top. If you've never logged in before, you'll be asked to create a profile. Before installing the bookmark button, you'll want to make sure your bookmark toolbar is visible at the top of your browser window. We suggest you use Google Chrome to edit your resource list, but Firefox works just as well. We'd advise against using Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge or Safari to edit your resource list, as some of the editing functions don't work as well. If you don't have the grey bar beneath your address bar at the top of the browser, you need to click on the three little dots on the top right of your browser window. After that, hover over bookmarks about halfway down the menu. In the next menu, click on the third option down, show bookmarks bar. A grey toolbar should open underneath your address bar. To install the button, back in resource lists, click My Bookmarks in the grey menu bar, just underneath the Roehampton logo. In the top right of the screen, there's a white button titled Install Bookmark Button. Click here. In the new window that pops open, click Next. In the middle of your screen, you'll want to click the white Add to My Bookmarks button, and importantly, hold down the mouse button so the pointer turns into a no entry sign. While holding down the button, drag your mouse up the screen, Hover over the bookmarks toolbar until the no entry sign becomes a pointer and a little plus. In the bookmarks toolbar, a little black line should appear indicating you can release the mouse button. I'll delete the button and do it again just to demonstrate it one more time. Click install bookmark button and then next. So click and hold add to my bookmarks. Drag your mouse up to the bookmarks toolbar until the little black line appears. Release your mouse button, the button should appear. Using the bookmark button, you'll be able to create links to books in the library so students can find them on the shelves, ebooks, and also any online resource from e journals to websites to YouTube videos and everything in between. The bookmark button will always draw more information from academic content platforms such as the library catalogue and e journals. To demonstrate how to bookmark, I'll bookmark something from the library catalogue. The library has over 250,000 books available on the shelves and tens of thousands of ebooks, so it's always worth checking the catalogue first before searching elsewhere. To demonstrate, I'll use the Study Skills Handbook by Stella Cottrell. To bookmark, I'll first of all search the library catalogue. You'll see we have the second, third, and fourth edition of Cottrell's book, and the fourth edition in print and ebook formats. Please always bear in mind that the library often has multiple editions of the same text. Please always bookmark the latest edition of the textbook available, unless you have a specific reason for using the older edition in your teaching. We'd always ask you to bookmark the print version of the book. In the library, the collections team will see you've bookmarked something which also has an ebook available. We'll combine the two into one line of the resource list, so the student gets both formats available to them, but you don't have to clear up your list by having both of them bookmarked. To bookmark, I'll check availability of the print version of the Study Skills Handbook. Once you see the availability of the book, click Add to my bookmarks in the bookmarks bar. As you can see, the resource list system will import all the information vital to a good bibliographic reference. Also, by bookmarking from the library catalogue, you'll provide your students with a shelf mark and availability so they can find it for themselves on the shelves. At the bottom, there are two buttons, Create and Create and Add to List. If you'd like to skip to create and add to list, you'll find the timestamp in the description box under this video. First of all, I'll show you create. Once you click create, the bookmark is saved to your profile and resource list, but you still have to add it to your modules list. Open up resource list if you haven't already, using the tab at the top of the catalogue, and search for your list. 
Remember to log in if you haven't already. Click Edit, then Edit List Classic from the buttons in the top right. If you don't see Edit next to View and Export, please contact Reading Lists at rohampton.ac.uk and we'll give you editing rights for the list. Once you click Edit List Classic, you'll enter Resource List Edit Mode. Over on the right, you should see your most recent bookmarks. As my most recent bookmark was the Study Skills Handbook by Stella Cottrell, this is sat at the top of my list. Before you click, it's a good idea to scroll through your resource list sections over on the left. I want to add this resource to week 7, so I'll scroll down quickly. To get this book onto your list, click the little cross on the left of the bookmark and hold down the mouse button. With the mouse button held down, drag your cursor over to the course content and your resource list sections over on the left. As you slowly move your cursor up and down the list, you'll see dotted lines appear and disappear. The dotted line indicates the system has found a place for you to drop the resource, either above or below the next item in the section. Or, if the section is empty, as of week 6, you'll see a dotted box appear. Once you see the dotted lines, you can release your mouse button. The resource will appear in your course content. There are a couple more things we'd ask you to do to help us purchase for the library. Everything on a resource list should be designated either essential reading, further reading, or further independent study. This will help guide students through their reading. Also, if you don't select an importance, the library won't know how many copies to buy. To set the importance on a resource, click Set Importance under the title and click either Essential, Further or Further Independent Study. It's a good idea at this stage to use the resource list feature to add a student note to give students some context in their reading. We've got a lot of feedback from students saying how much they like this. Importantly, anything you write in the student note field will be carried across into Moodle if you use the Moodle plugin. To find out more about using the Moodle plugin, you should find the link to our tutorial in the description box under this video. Another video you can watch is using the library note field here to ask the library to digitise next tracks for you. You can also find the link to this video in the description box. To edit the notes field, click Edit Notes in Importance under the title. You can then write whatever you want in the student note field to give students some context on their reading. In the middle of the screen, you should see where you can also change the importance if you changed your mind. Once you're happy with your notes, click Save. You now have two options up in the top right of the edit screen. You can either click Publish and students will see your changes, or you can click Save Draft. Draft is an important feature which might be useful if you want to get ahead and prepare things for the next academic year, but not show your current students. If you like to edit as you go, it's always good to click Publish and then Publish again so students can see your changes. I'll now take you through the second method of adding resources to your list, Create and Add to List. Just to reiterate, this is another option, so you can choose whichever method you prefer. It might be a good idea to have a practice for Create first before you move on, so you can see which option you prefer. Create and Add to List is a good option if you want to make multiple additions to the resource list at the same time. It's also beneficial as once added, you have to take no further action other than publishing your changes. Once you click Create and Add to List, resource list brings up a window of options for you to fill out. All fields are essential except for the student and library note fields. Though the student note field is highly recommended to give students context in their reading, the library note field is only essential for making a request for a digitised extract. For more information about requesting digitisation, you can watch our tutorial video. You can find the link to this video in the description box. To complete the Create and Add to List form, first of all, select the list you'd like to add the resource to from the drop-down menu. For you, this will be a drop-down of all your resource lists you've worked on. You can then select where on the list you want to add the resource. If you select this list from the drop down, resource list will drop the resource at the top or bottom of the entire list, depending on which checkbox you check. The best way to do it to save yourself the most time is to select one of the resource list sections from the drop down. I'm going to drop this item at the top of week 7. Everything on a resource list should be designated either essential reading, further reading, or further independent study. This helps guide students through their reading. Also, if you don't select an importance, the library won't know how many copies to buy. Please select the importance from the importance drop down menu. Please do feel free to use the student note field. Anything you write in the student note field will be carried across to Moodle if you use the Moodle plugin. To find out more about using the Moodle plugin, you should find a link to the tutorial video in the description box under this video. Once you've filled out all these options, click OK at the bottom. The bookmark button will place the resource on your list for you, carrying across all the information you told it to. You'll be returned to where you were before you clicked Add to my bookmarks. 
you are now free to continue adding items to your list, either from the library catalogue or from somewhere else. I'll do another one for you now, just to demonstrate again. This time, I want to add another set of cultural text, critical thinking skills. So once again, I'll search the catalogue. I'll have a quick scan through the search results to make sure this top one is the nearest edition available. It is, so I'll check availability. I'll click Add to my bookmarks and then Create and Add to List. Select the list from your drop-down menu. This time, once it go to the bottom of Week 7 reading. This book will be further reading for the class. I'll also add a student note. This book is a great text as not considering critical thinking. Finally, I'll click OK. Please remember that Create and Add to List will add items to the draft version of the list, not the published version. Once you've added all the resources using Create and Add to List, you'll want to publish your list. To do so, open up resource lists if you haven't already using the tab at the top of the catalogue and search for your list. To publish, click Edit and Edit List Classic. You'll enter Edit Mode and you'll be able to view the draft version of your list. If you scroll down to where you placed your resources, you should see them listed exactly as you told it to. If you're happy with your changes and you want your students to see them, click Publish in the top right corner, then Publish again. Save draft is an important feature which might be useful to you if you want to get ahead and prepare things for next academic year but not show your current students. If you like to edit as you go, it's always good to click publish and then publish again so students can see your changes. Bookmarking is always the same no matter what the resource. You always click add to my bookmarks and you have the option to create or create and add to list, depending on your preference. As I mentioned at the start of the video, you can add any type of resource to your list. I'll now quickly demonstrate where to click the bookmark button on each type of resource you might want to add. If you've skipped straight to this part of the video and you've not used resource lists before, you might want to watch the first parts of this video first. I'll take you through adding a journal title, adding an e-journal article, adding a website, a YouTube video, and finally adding a book we don't have in library stock. Again, you can skip to any of these by clicking on the timestamps in this video's description box. We'd always suggest when bookmarking generally to a journal title to give students all the access we have available. We would always suggest bookmarking from our eJournals finder to present students with all the years of access we subscribe to. If you navigate to the eJournals finder at the top of the library catalogue and search for the journal title you want to add. Once you have a list of search results, click on the title. This is where you want to click the bookmark button. Students will be directed straight to this page and they can explore themselves through all our years of access. Once again, you have the same options, create and create and add to list. I'll click create. For our e-journal article, if I continue to use this journal to demonstrate, navigate to the abstract page of the individual article. This will always be the page to present students with a PDF to access the material. Navigate through the volume, then the individual journal issue, until you find the article you'd like to bookmark. Most e-journal articles have an abstract page to bookmark. If you do find one that doesn't, you can always ask the library engagement team for advice by emailing libraryengagement at rohampton.ac.uk. We are unable to bookmark directly to the PDF as students might be presented with any of the correct data when they look at the list. When I click the bookmark button here, as you can see, students will be presented with all the correct data that helps them create a good reference. You are also free to add websites to your list. I use BBC News as an example. You can bookmark to any page of a website. The bookmark button is not able to retrieve a lot of data from a website, but is always able to retrieve a link to take students straight to the page you bookmark. You're also able to bookmark audiovisual resources, such as YouTube. I'll demonstrate with our tutorial on how to use the Moodle plugin. If you navigate to the page contained in the video, as always, click Add to my bookmarks in the toolbar. And then finally, as always, click Create or Create and Add to List. Finally, to request the library purchase a new book for your resource list, all you have to do is bookmark the resource you'd like and add it to your list. We'd always prefer you add the resource from Amazon, though you are able to use the publisher's website if it's not available on Amazon. There are two things you can do to help us purchase the book you want. Firstly, make sure you've clicked on the paperback edition if available, not the Kindle or hardback. Secondly, you've made sure you've added the most recent edition of the book available. We will always purchase the new edition of the book available as per the collection development policy. As always, click Add to my bookmarks. The collections team are constantly keeping an eye on the resource list platform, and we will see in our reports when you add books that aren't in library stock. We will try to order new books in the week after they're added to lists. This may change at busy times of the year. 
we would ask if all new book requests are added to resource lists by the two deadlines we have for the autumn and spring terms. These deadlines are available in the resource list framework document and linked on our help and support site. The purpose of these deadlines is to make sure books have ample time to arrive at the library before students start their term. If you'd like to know more about how we purchase to the library, you can always email collections at rohampton.ac.uk. The collections development policy is also available on the resource list help and support site. If you would like some training with a member of the library's academic engagement team, we have both one-to-ones and group sessions available. In a one-to-one, -one, one of our engagement librarians can come to your office to provide you with resource list training. You can also arrange a group session if you and a group of colleagues would like to attend a training session together. If you click help and support at the top of any page on resource lists, you can also find more videos for editing your list. We've also delivered each tutorial in PDF and Word document format if you prefer to print them off and learn that way. To book a training session, or if you have any questions at all about your resource list, please email libraryengagement at rohampton.ac.uk and one of our librarians will get back to you.